in recognition of your outstanding contribution to the socioeconomic development of Ghana, your calm disposition as a distinguished diplomat, which has helped enhance mutual understanding and cooperation between the peoples of Ghana and China, the Republic of Ghana confers on you, San Bao Hong, the state honor of the Republic of Ghana, member of the Order of the Star of Ghana, Honorary Division. Signed, Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado, President of the Republic, on the 10th of April, 2018, at the Jubilee House, Accra. It gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you to the seat of the Presidency of Ghana, Jubilee House, to participate in this farewell lunch for somebody who has become a great friend of our nation and whose tour of duty here in Ghana has witnessed a significant and tremendous expansion of cooperation and friendship between the People's Republic of China and the Republic of Ghana. Over this weekend, which was her final act of uh, her tour of duty, she executed with the Finance Minister, Ken Ofreata, a series of agreements where the People's Republic of China has offered to us $66 million worth of money. One, the substantial part of it, some $50 million, to complete the Jamestown Rehabilitation Port Complex. This is such an important <laughs> initiative. It's part of the plans of government to see to the revival of that part of Accra, the historic part of Accra, that has fallen into significant decline in the years. That, that, that initiative, when it becomes real, will make such a large impact on the life of the people of that part. And then the balance is to go to projects such as the completion of the next phase of the University of Health and Allied Sciences. So it's uh, with a great deal of pleasure that I'm about to propose a toast to you. But what I'm hoping is that when you go to China, you go back to China, you will be the, the voice of Ghana in uh, high circles in China, and uh, continue to promote this strong relationship between our two countries. Join me in proposing a toast to the friendship between the People's Republic of China and the Republic of Ghana, between our two governments, to the health, continuing prosperity and welfare of the leader, President Xi Jinping, and to our outgoing ambassador of the People's Republic of China, Ambassador Su Wang. To your health, and may God bless the peoples of Ghana and the peoples of China. It is my great, great privilege to attend the farewell lunch held by Your Excellency, Mr. President, and accept the national award you confer upon me. I am overwhelmingly honored. Please allow me to take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to Your Excellency for this extremely friendly gesture. It demonstrates Your Excellency's strong commitment to promoting China-Ghana friendship and the further development of our relations. I have only fulfilled my duty as ambassador to Ghana, while Your Excellency, the government, and the people of Ghana have given me much more. This supreme glory belongs to the great country I represent, 
and the great leader Xi Jinping, who has nominated me as Chinese ambassador to Ghana. China remains Ghana's largest trading partner and the main source of foreign investment. The bilateral trade volume has risen from 5.6 billion US dollars in 2014 to 6.68 billion US dollars in 2017, with Ghana's export to China reaching a historical high of 1.85 billion US dollars. Mr. President, China and Ghana enjoy profound traditional friendship. Our 58-year diplomatic ties have withstood the test of international vicissitudes and the changes of each other's domestic situation and are facing new opportunities. The Chinese side has noted with delight that due to your strong leadership, the MPP government has adopted a number of strong measures to develop economy and improve people's livelihood, resulting in the improvement of microeconomy and fast GDP growth. The international community is upbeat that Ghana will become the fastest growing country in Africa this year. <laughs> China supports Ghana's initiatives of one district, one factory, one village, one dam, and the planting for food and the jobs, and welcomes the Ghanaian side to participate in the construction of the One Belt, One Road and share the development opportunities. Mr. President, I came to Ghana with hopes and dreams, and I leave the country with friendship and honor. No matter, <laughs> no matter where I go, Ghana is always at my heart, and I will continue to support the development of China-Ghana relations. Once again, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to Your Excellency, Mr. President, the Ghanaian government and the people for the great honor you bestow upon me today. Now I wish like to propose a toast. Thank you. I wish Ghana and China continue to enjoy peace and prosperity. I wish China-Ghana relations thrive to a new high. Thank you. Cheers.